Back yeah, there. General Motors is planning to lay off at least 4,000 white collar workers on Monday. This according to CNBC. Last year, General Motors offered white collar employees a buyout. They hoped 8,000 employees would take the offer. Only 2,300 did. The company indicated layoffs would begin in the first quarter of the year. However, GM has yet to confirm that report. Important, important caveat, that's from CNBC. What's happening to GM, to many, is a sign of an auto industry downturn. But tell that to Wayne Assembly Line workers who are already working a lot of overtime. Telling, uh, now Ford is telling Local 4, our business editor, Rob Maloney, there's no end to that in sight. Snowy as it is, the 2019 Ford Ranger midsize pickup was unveiled to much fanfare last year at the auto show. It's taken a year to arrive on the market and to say it was much anticipated is an understatement. This plant used to build the Ford Focus and shut down last year between May and October for the Ranger changeover. Line workers get lots of rest back then, but they're making up for that now. While the paint and stamping plants in this 369 acre site with 5 million square feet of factory space are working two shifts a day. In January, they started working Saturdays on the one shift at the assembly area, a sixth day with overtime, and it's going to last for the foreseeable future, like the end of the year. There's that much pent up demand. UAW 900 local president Dwayne Walker is all smiles for his 2,800 members. Anytime you can put workers in there and um, support the community, you know, we, that's, that's a plus. You know, you look forward to that, you know, and, and southeastern Michigan deserves it, you know, um, this area in particular. The Ranger may be one of the hottest selling vehicles in years, and we've heard from Ford Ranger customers who've put in orders and they're having to wait two and three months to get their trucks. Right now, they're not even lasting on dealer lots. Be patient, though. You know, um, you know, ex you know, anxiety, you know, ex excitement, you know, that it'll be that much sweeter when you get it. You know, you, you're going to be the first one to get one in your neighborhood. As if times weren't good enough here at the Wayne Assembly plant next year, they're going to start building the much anticipated Bronco. And with that, they think they're going to end up with a second shift. So you could say that these are the good old days. In Wayne, Rod Maloney, Local 4.